Let's turn to the world's cheapest tablet computer that was unveiled in the national capital. It goes on sale in December. Created for use by students, the tablet will be first made available to colleges at $17.50 a piece. That's about $35. Other similar tablets are priced at three times the price or more. So what's this new tablet about? Joining us now is Sunit Singh Tulich, CEO of DataWin, which has brought this tablet. And also joining us are two young men from the Indian Information Institute of Information Technology who've been become first-time users of the tablet. That is uh, Suyash and Nishant. Appreciate your joining us. But first to you, Mr. Tuli, you want to put up your tablet to show us this your 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 spe special invention. But there are those who will say that this price of thirty-five dollars there's a con somewhere that the individual components that go into a tablet would cost at least 5,000 rupees. What have you done to suddenly tell us that it's only going to cost us $35 or 1750 rupees? So I think the best way to deal with the skeptics is to deliver it. We're delivering 100,000 units to the government and we will be launching a commercial version of this product independent of the government that will be delivered late November or early December. There are many ways to reduce product costs. We have a unique patented technology in which we have 18 U.S. patents that shift the burden of processing power from the client device to back-end servers and helps reduce some of the component costs. As a manufacturer, we are much more vertically integrated than most manufacturers. And we also don't depend on pure hardware margins. We monetize the operating system. So there's a whole variety of different ways. Apart from what's being delivered to the government, the product will be on consumer sale uh, that you and I and anybody else can go in and buy. So the idea that it's a con only exists if it's not available. Okay. Uh, uh, Suyash, Nishant, you've tested it. Are you satisfied? Do you believe it's really worth 1750 or do you believe it's something which is a Jugadu application which has brought together various applications will never give you the kind of facilities that a real tablet would? No, actually, I think it's quite good. As far as I've used it till now, from uh, afternoon uh, till evening, I found it quite helpful in many ways. My, I could easily, uh, I have a ebook and uh, for reading a normal ebook, I would be starting up my computer and booting process will take a time. Instead, I uh, uh, transferred it in, in, into a pen drive and just plugged it in this uh, uh, tablet and I was able to read it quite comfortably and there was no problem with it. Nishan, are you equally satisfied or are you, are you one of those skeptics who believe that he, you still need to test it a little more before you are convinced? Uh, personally, I, I could be a little skeptic, but I f whatever I have tested, I think it's pretty good. Uh, considering the price especially, you can't compare it to an iPad, of course, it's, it's a marginal difference. But uh, of course, there's a huge difference, but uh, considering what I have studied, uh, this tablet about uh, the student applications, whatever a student would require, I think it's, it satisfies most of the needs of a student and I, it's been designed as a student's tablet so it should function like that and it does. It's, it's a student's tablet, it's designed for a student. You know, the original tender was for what, $35 a machine, prices apparently have now gone up to $49. <coughs> was that any impediment to getting the tender passed eventually? No, the, the tender was an open bid. There were, I think, over, well over a dozen bidders that bid it. We were the low bid. There are elements to the tender that increase the price. Apart from the hardware cost, the government has required that it have replacement warranty. Normal warranty allows you to refurbish a product. Here, the government required that it be a replacement warranty. The government for, um, encouraged us to manufacture the product in India, which initially has some higher costs. Interstate transfer in India creates 4% sales tax, which is included in there. Then there are performance security warrant, uh, security and other things. So there's a variety of things. But you've gone the, here with the sole objective of providing a low-cost tablet to students who otherwise will not have access to it. You, you admit that it's, not, it's never going to reach the quality of an iPad. It's never going to be a high-end model. But for someone who wants basic facilities, you believe that's what you've tried to achieve. Uh, and we believe we've done it successfully because you can get 15 of these for the cost of an iPad and it'll do great quality web experience, great quality multimedia and lots of applications on Android. The th I want to address the $35. Yes. We've given a firm proposal to the government that not at 100,000 units but at a million units with some changes on these onerous conditions $35 is very, very achievable. And even in this cost, we gave a breakup to the government showing the hardware at that price point. Let me just ask you that. You're 
how many tablets are you going to deliver to the government in the first slot? How many, how many tablets like this will be accessible to more students like Suyash and Nishan? So the first slot is 100,000 units, is one lakh units. And you want it to go up to a million units? Well, the government... To make it cost effective? The government has put together a plan to purchase up to 8 million or 10 million units. And what we've said is that if you purchase them in quantities of 100,000 lots, uh, then you will not get the price breaks that you're looking for. You've got to do it in million unit lots. And the government has said, yes, the next tender will be in multiple million unit lots. Well, we'll have to test it out and see whether it is really the revolution that it's uh, being projected at as, at the moment. It's called Akash. So ob obviously, sky is the limit for all of you. Appreciate you joining us and giving us a sense of what could be revolutionary and is at least something that should bring a smile on the faces of most students. Let's go straight across to Fatima now.